Hello, welcome to The Freak Show. Bumpy McSquiggums here. I want to thank you all for joining me as I start up my coverage of Sword Coast Legends Beyond the First Look. That's not really the title of the game, but it's Beyond My First Look of the game, where it's a full LP. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, Sword Coast Legends by In Space, Digital Extremes, Hasbro, Wizards of the Coast, and of course, Dungeons and Dragons. So, let's hop in and actually get started with the storyline. We did some dungeon crawling in the past, and as you see, my characters from the beta are actually still here. Hold on, guys. There she is. There is the lovely Rogas. She is there. She is ready. She is eager. I think we're going to create a new character. Just in case you guys missed out on the first look, we get to start anew. So, let's do that. New character. Maybe. Maybe. We'll there it is. There we go. Alright, so you guys know there's obviously two genders. We don't have some weird third-party gender. That's non-existent, so male or female, we're going to go with that as creepy. We're going to go with male. Last I checked, I was a male. I'm always tempted to play as a ranger, though I almost never do. I always find that I enjoy headbutting stuff or smashing it with my face until it dies. Or using magic, or... Yeah, I've also taken an appreciation to sneaky, stabby rogues. So there's a few different options. Alright, so let's see what we have. We have a ranger, we have a fighter, we have a cleric... We have a rogue, a wizard, and I think that's it. Oh, and a paladin, I'm sorry. There we go. Now we've gone full circle. All right, well... I could try a paladin. I'm not so sure I'd want to... You know what? Let's let's do it. I never play a paladin. Let's play a paladin. Of course, we know that we're going to have to go... We're not a halfling. We're not a half-elf. We're not a human. Though we could be. We're not an elf. I might actually go with a human. We'll see. I kind of want to go with the Dwarf Paladin, but I think their stats are pretty terrible for this. So I'm leaning toward maybe going a human, but we're going to go with a... Eh, yeah, we're going to go with a human. I already have a Dwarf uh, Two-Handed Warrior, or Fighter as it were, so we'll go with a Human Paladin. So our Human Pally with a Wooden Shield, aren't they supposed to have like, some sort of giant metal awesome shield of death? But no, this Paladin, apparently he's poor. He can't afford it. We could be a Human Variant, or we could be a Human. And then we have the choice of Pirate, Sage, Sailor, Soldier, Spy... Urchin, Aqualite, Charlatan, Criminal, Entertainer, Folk Hero, Gladiator, Guild Artisan, Guild Merchant, Hermit, <laughs> Knight, Noble, Outlander, and Pirate again. Hmm, and they all have different things that they give you. If you right click on it, it'll show you what they have available. I wonder if it's the same thing with humans or. Nope, it doesn't. Alright, well, it's not doing it now, which is kind of odd. I broke it. I broke it, guys. It doesn't right-click and tell me. Maybe it's hover over? Ah, it's hover over. Well, what is he, does it tell us the humans? Ah, no, there it goes. Alright, well, I would like to see what a... I want to see what a hermit is. How about that? We could be a hermit paladin. Makes absolutely no sense, but it could be fun. One to wisdom, plus two radiant, ne uh, necrotic, and physical damage dealt. Huh. Let's check out what a paladin is here. Well, we already kind of know that, and the, the save, save proficiencies, wisdom, and charisma. Interesting. Huh. Alright, I don't know about a hermit. Maybe we'll go with a noble. Do they have noble paladins? Probably not. Well, I guess we're just really looking for stats. Let's check out sage. Sage is probably going to be a pretty good one. Oh, that's so intelligent. Alright, let's get one to uh, wisdom. That's what we're going to look for. So if I had to guess, I'd say this probably isn't one. Dexterity. Acolyte? That might work. Might be intelligence, though. Come on. Give it to me. Tell me what's up. Oh, it is wisdom. Ooh, plus three to all healing given. Alright, that's what we're going to do then. We're going to be an Acolyte. Alright, so we're an Acolyte Paladin male human from Human Land. I like it. Alright, we can change what we look like. We can rotate the camera and do all that wonderful fun stuff. We're going to be pasty pale because of, I don't know, because of reasons. I suppose, um, aren't most paladins, like, well, I suppose we're, we're going off of, uh, Warcraft tropes there. So most of them would be blonde. I think I'm gonna go with a dark, black-haired individual this time around. Let's see what different hairstyles we have. I kind of think that would work for a paladin, but let's see what else there's available. We don't want bald. I, I kind of want the mohawk, too, but nah. We Mohawk's been done to death. We can have the weird mohawk with the ponytail. I don't know, that's kind of creepy too. I think we're going to go with the weird, like, combed forward hair. There we go. The, uh... I don't know, the, like, angry bowl cut hair? I don't know what you would call that. 
I'm sure it's got a name. No idea what it is. I believe paladins have to be face facial hair lists, so there he is. Um, we can zoom in here too if you wrote, or, uh, roll your mouse wheel. You can zoom in, look at his eyes, and be like, "Oh, you have such lovely eyes." Let's see, can we get like, oh, there we go. He's a blind paladin. That's creepy. It's got to be unfortunate being blind. Ugh, oh, I couldn't think of things that are a whole lot worse. I mean, other than like excruciating physical agony. I'm sure that's clearly worse, but it's gotta, that's got to be pretty rough. That's just, you know, I, I feel sad. Alright, you're, you're good enough the way you are. I'm not uh, really into dress me up Barbie so much. As long as you look okay-ish, I'm fine with it. Alright, we can rock out with pretty much any weapon or armor that we're able to wear. So as you see, there are several choices of starting gear. You can have a shield, a mace, I'm totally fine with both of those things. So I think I prefer a hammer. Did they have a hammer? I don't think they do. They have a maul, but that's a two-handed hammer. A mace will work. Though I feel more like a cleric when I have a mace than, well, say a paladin, but oh, it's okay. You kind of want to go after the, uh, you know, we could always... Well, is the Morningstar considered a two-handed weapon? No, it says a one-handed weapon. Alright, so we're two to eight piercing damage. I think it's exactly the same as the mace. Oh no, it's one to six. Interesting. Huh. So why would I not switch to the Morning Star? It requires Morning Star proficiency. Do I have that? I mean, it's clearly better than a mace. I, I don't know what all its attributes are. Uh, we can examine it, I suppose. That tells us. It literally just, uh, somewhat of a specialized mace. A Morning Star is a spiked metal ball affixed to the top of a long wooden or metal shaft. The ball both bludgeons and pierces. And I believe the mace is probably just a bludgeoning weapon. A blunt club-like uh, weapon featuring a heavy head on the end of a long shaft. Maces are designed to inflict bludgeoning blows that break through armor. Well, whatever. We'll roll out with the Morning Star. I think that's going to be a little bit different, so we can rock that. Alright, and then armor-wise. So you'll see, it looks like we're already set up in splint armor, which is the heaviest of the armors that we can get. And we can only get the leg armor, or the foot armor, I guess and the chest piece or the armor set and the the boots I guess Cause it doesn't look like there's there's chest and leg or torso and leg so alright we're good with that let's go to the next area and here we are humans start a little bit better off than a lot of the other classes Paladin tra paladins train for years to learn the skills of combat mastering a variety of weapons and armor even so their martial skills are secondary to their magical power they wield Making a paladin focus on strength for physical attacks and charisma for spellcasting. Alright, well we're going to go with physical strength. Because that's what they recommended. And we're going to go with, well, you guessed it, charisma. That still gives us six points. I think we're going to go with one more into wisdom. What does wisdom do? Uh, wisdom reflects how attuned you are to the world around you. And represents perspective, or sorry, yeah, perspective, perceptiveness and intuition. Uh, divine and nature spells use wisdom to determine their potency. Alright, well, I think we're probably going to get maybe three points up in that. And then we're going to want a little bit of constitution, because that's going to make us a little bit more hardy. So we don't just get wrecked. Alright, we'll do we'll do two in a constitution. Yeah, something like that. I like it. Alright, let's roll out with that, and then we get to go into abilities. And then we have multiple different trees, guys. You can feel free to pause and read the little uh, flavor text here. It's fine, but what we're going to do is go to each one. Just going to kind of take a look. Let you guys pause and read, and then I'll kind of figure out what I want to do. Bless. That seems like that could be pretty good. I'm probably still going to have a healer. He's going to be an off healer. So I'll probably roll with a a fighter, maybe? No. I might just go with a paladin, a rogue, a spellcaster, like a wizard. And finally, a cleric or a priest to heal. We have war. Let's see. Great weapon fighting? Nope. Protection? Probably go down that line. Martial skills, probably get something out of there as well. And then here's our skills and proficiencies, guys. We are pretty much proficient and skilled in every weapon known to man, so that is good. That gives us a lot of different options. Let's see here. This is going to say simple weapon club. I mean, technically, a mace. Uh, is this a hammer? A great club. I don't want to use a great club. Morning star, and this is going to be a, a maul. Yeah. Well, so be it. All right, and we're back to Crusader. So what does Crusader do? Lay on hands. Calls upon the paladin's deity to heal the wounds of an injured ally, restoring 6 to 8 hit points. 
Spell has no effect on undead or constructs. All right, well, we're going to grab up actually one level of that. Then we're going to move on. We have two points remaining. I think I might skip out on Bless for now. Let's see, what do we have here? This is a great weapon fighting. We're not going to be a two-handed paladin, though. That would be a lot of fun. We're going to go down the protection tree now. We get Shield Bash. Slams the target with a shield, dealing 6 to 15 bludgeoning damage and stunning them. Definitely up my alley. All right, and I think finally we're going to go with one of these martial skills here. We have the choice of Victorious Surge, which is basically a reap attack. Or a lifesteal or a leech attack, if you will. So what does it allow you to do? You do 6 to 17 piercing damage, which is a little bit odd because we don't have a piercing... Well, I guess technically the Morning Star does have the spikes, so it is still a piercing uh, attack. Uh, and you get 6 to 8 hit points for doing that. So it's a little bit of a sustain for you. Alright, I think I'm going to learn that bad boy up. There we go, and that is it. So we're going to go here to our summary. We get to choose our name. And I think we're going to go with... Sith. Ooh, what happened? I can't hit the shift key? Okay, there it goes. Now it's working. Sitherin. That was a bit odd. It was a little bit weird. We'll stick with the portrait that matches our character. I like that they've done that. Alright, we have a couple different Hello voices there. to choose from. Hello there. Might I have a moment of your time? I kind of like that for the paladin. Of balance. course. Yes. Hi. Right. Come here a second. Yeah. Listen up. Listen well up. Met. Well met. No. Certainly. Alright, so that's definitely a paladin voice. As a paladin, we have to be lawful something. We're going to be lawful neutral. I don't think we have to technically. We could be lawful good. We could be all like, oh my gosh, I want to make all good choices. No, we're going to go with lawful neutral. Neutral. That's going to be my thing. And then, let's see here. Um, a deity. A real. A harsh goddess of cold winter. Hmm. And it shows you the things that you can actually get being, like, I'll, I'll demonstrate. So it says C N C E N N E L N L E. That's uh, chaotic neutral. What is C uh, C E? Chaotic. Sorry, chaotic evil. Sorry, guys, my brain's just it, it's waking up, guys. I promise you. Neutral, uh, neutral evil, uh, lawful neutral, and lawful evil. So that's one. We have Azuth. Which apparently the god of wizards. That's not really the play there. We have the Bane, ambition and control. Former, uh, I don't think so. Ch Chante, Chantia. I don't. It's okay. Agriculture. Yeah, we're not all about agriculture. Corellon Larithian. Sure. Leader of the Elven deities. Now we're not really into Elven deities this time around. Gond. The Wonderbringer, the god of artifice, craft, and construction. Now that doesn't really fit us either. The Helm. This is the epitome of protector, watcher. There we go. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so we're going to go with the Helm. That is where we're going. Uh, you'll be unable to edit this character once you complete the character creation. Yep. Let's do it. All right, we have Scytherin the Paladin, and he is alive and well, and we're ready to start up the normal storyline adventure. And it looks like we just get to choose this character, and it's time to start the game. So let's hop in and get started. Legends tell that after the time of troubles, the elven goddess Sehanin Moonbow wept for those divine souls that fell in the God's War. From her eyes fell the Moon Tear, a relic said to contain a moat of Sehanin's divine power. The Moon Tear was hidden by the elves, but not forgotten. A century ago, two brothers, one gentle and scholarly, the other brash and courageous, sought to find the lost relic. They founded an adventuring guild called the Order of the Burning Dawn and sealed their purpose with an oath to find the Moon Tear and use it to bring light to a world filled with darkness. Not long after they sealed the pact, both brothers were lost, and the guild's original purpose was lost with them. Today the guild offers equipment, shelter, and paying work for adventurers looking to do a little good while they make a little coin. You are one of the Burning Dawn's newer recruits charged with escorting a small merchant caravan along the high road between the city of Neverwinter and the lawless town of Luskan. It has been an easy journey thus far, 
Aside from the vicious nightmares that have plagued your sleeping mind since the caravan left the city, bad dreams are common on missions fraught with danger. But you've never had nightmares quite like this. Oh no, bad dreams. All right, sounds like a, a rough uh, road ahead of us. All right, a night on the road. You and your guildmates have set up camp along the high road, where you are escorting a merchant caravan from Neverwinter to Luskin. Thankfully, I've actually played enough games that I know what those things are. Anyway, moving on, moving on. As you lay down to rest, however, your peaceful night's sleep is interrupted by a nightmare of fire, battle, and something hey, else that I didn't up. get to read. The guild under attack. Oh my, this is creepy. Uh, okay. What? What is happening? Who is attacking us? I don't know. Armored knights of some kind. Something's different about them. I'm hoping someone else knows more. All right, Bellamy is calling for our help. Grab your equipment and head downstairs now. All right, I'll be right down. Let's go now. Now. Okay, I must grab my equipment. Do I have a mouse? I do. Left click on the ground to move the. Yeah, I, I know. Thank you. I, I'm well aware. All right. So where is our equipment that we can we? It says we can grab our equipment. I don't. It does not appear that there's right any away. equipment in here. Do we want to go out of this place? Okay. The quest log on the right displays the title of the active quests. I'm gonna probably skip most of this, guys. And your current completed objectives. Ah, we're just gonna we're gonna figure it out as we go. I, like I did some dungeon crawling, as you guys know, in the first look video. So I feel a little bit comfortable with the game, but again, I don't know what all the storyline mechanics that. are gonna be. My goodness, what as is going wish. on? We really need to find our equipment. Of course. At once. Enter the armory at the end of the hall. Right away. This way. All right. Rotate the camera, right mouse button, or we can do all sorts of things with Q and E and other stuff. All right, let's go here and grab the chest up. And there's our, all of our stuff. We'll take it, and then I guess we're going to have to go into our inventory and actually equip all of it. All right, Morning Star and the shield. Yeah, come on. There it is. All right, so we have that stuff. We have a potion of restoration. We should probably... Can we move it down here? We can. All right, we'll put that on like six, maybe. A scroll of restoration sounds like that could be legit too. Let's move that down there. And a scroll of shatter, I'm not sure what that does, but we'll move that there as well. Okay, we'll get rid of the wonderful thing there. Alright, so that's our heal, our shield bash, and our attack. So we're ready, we're eager, we got this, we got this on lockdown, guys. I can do that. Alright, exit the armory, and it looks like we'll probably be getting into a fight here when we exit. Report, soldier. I've begun the search of this floor, sir. I'll guard the stairwell. There must be no survivors. Well, this seems creepy. All right, hover your cursor over the enemy. Yeah, yeah, discover details. It's fine. As you wish. Oh, there's a knight over here. We have tactical pause. I kind of wish I read what that said now, because it says we can discover details about it. I mean, the only thing I can discover right now is the fact that we, uh, we know this guy exists, that he's there. But it's okay, we're gonna actually go and attack him. Hit the spacebar to pause and unpause during the battle. I will read these guys, just to, just to make sure I don't miss anything, because I missed that last one, so I do apologize. When the options menus can be reset, I'll auto-pause under certain, certain, certain circumstances or situations. Or circumstations, as I was trying to say, which sounds very much like circumcisions, which is a whole different kettle of fish. <laughs> All right, we are going to do battling with this individual. We're going to smack him with our shield. Be like, no! Bam! Uh, get wrecked. A well-deserved well victory. Yeah, that's of course. Creepy voice acting. I, I like the effect, though. This is a creepy thing altogether. Uh, we can scan a scout ahead, or we can use WASD to do the same thing. Right away. Right away. And it looks like we're going to go persistent. and do battle with the Capitan. And we don't really even need to do anything. Pay. Just kind of flat wreck them right there. These guys are not super powerful. Unfortunately, there's nothing to be had there. Alright, we need to gather our allies. We've already defeated the enemy. Our allies are here. Left click on the characters to initiate conversation. Of course, Bellamy. Glad you could make it, sleepyhead. It's about time you joined us. Hey, there were people upstairs. I had to dispatch them. All right, why would anyone attack us? I thought an attack like this would have awakened me. Who are these people? Why would anyone attack matter? us? They're attacking. They're doing a damn fine job of it too. They're burning stuff. It's not really that good of an attack. I mean, it's annoying, sure, but it can all be rebuilt. Look at that dude's maul. That thing's crazy. Actually, does he have a shield too? I'm confused. I can't see. No, that's just his hand there. Okay. 
All right, what do we do now? Is anyone else still alive? Is there weren't alive? a lot of people here to begin with, thank the gods. Okay, and we're about to get moving. Oh, and we're going to pause before we do that. Okay, we have multiple characters in our party. Click directly on his or her portrait over here on the left uh, and use pause to manage everything. So, pretty much what you would expect. Yes. All right, we have Nettie. Nettie is a rogue. We have Gil. What? I think we have Gil. We have Gil. There we go. Gil is a paladin, it would appear. Okay, so we're rocking double paladin here. And then we have Bellamy, At who I guess is some sort of warrior? That would be my best guess. All right, so we're going to do that. We're going to actually use yes. our own yes. character to kind of lay into these guys. I think we're going to yes. also move Gil down to deal with this guy. So there we go. All right, so we are being somewhat victorious here in our amazing attacks and whatnot. Oh, he pulled aggro, but I'm going to shield bash that guy down. I'm going to run over here and take this guy out while they take care of him. And eventually, nope, the attack number one. out there. Discover what's going on and put a stop to it. Objections? Let's do it. I, I, I'm in. For the burning dawn. For the dawn. Indeed. All right. So Cleve is laying there. There doesn't seem, there doesn't appear to be anything that we need to gather up right now. There is, however, some sort of weird ritual brazier over here. So we're gonna go over there and see what's up. And it's empty, so we can leave. Well, that's odd and interesting, I suppose. All right, let's I see if I, uh, if I if I assess our require? party properly or not. All right, you are a fighter, I assumed. You are a rogue, of course. And oh, you're a cleric. You're not a paladin, and yet you're rocking a big two-handed mace. Well, kudos to you, my friend. Kudos to you. And what is this skill? Produce flame. It's a cantrip. Okay, well that's cool. How may I serve? Now, normally I would play either a two-handed barbarian type guy with a big old weapon, just like run in. A dwarven barbarian is what I like to play. As you wish. Or what I seem to be most successful with. I've never been super successful with the mages. I've got pretty far, like in Neverwinter Nights and games like that. Um, I also really liked playing the cleric, but I generally like doing that when I actually have a full party. Oh no! Of course. There's no escape, or is there? By the gods! I guess we're not getting out that way. Okay, any idea what's going on out there? Oh, what, what do we do? Maybe we can get through the basement. Good idea. The entrance to the basement is hidden. Some kind of concealment spell. Let's go back to that Brazia. So oh, there's a ritual skull. Okay. And clearly there's a chest somewhere. There's the chest. Alright. Click on... Uh, rogues can be skilled at practicing... Oh. At once. A sadly unavoidable outcome. Okay. What can I do for you? you can go open the chest, Ms. Rogue. And get it handled, Nettie. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, so now we're going to come over here. I can do that. With our crew. And be all like, we need to put the skull on the ritual brazier. And there it is. And onward we go into the basement. And we're getting pretty close to running out of time, guys, but we're not quite there yet. So hopefully we can get out of this little starting area. And you guys can be all eager and excited and stoked to see what's next. Yeah. And then you'll have to wait for three weeks before the next episode. No, it won't be that long, guys. All right, press M on uh, your keyboard to open the map uh, or select it from the pause menu. Local map shows the area nearby your party has explored. More is revealed as you progress. Adjust, zoom, blah, blah, blah. Right-clicking on the map will set waypoints to mark a location. All right, let's open our map. We want to go there or not. Okay, simple enough. As you wish. All right, let's move forward. Apparently there's a quest of giver course. down here. At once. Right Hello, away. sir. Ar Arnax? I thought it Thank said Arhax. God you're here. Do you know what's happening? I was hoping you could tell us. The Guild Hall is under attack. We're trying to find out why. Under attack? That doesn't sound good. We should stay together until we can figure this all out. It doesn't Keep sound your eyes good. open. There are hidden traps in this area. It doesn't sound good at all. Alright, it's going to tell us about our um, followers may join your party for a short time, oh, but we can't directly control them. Interesting. All right, we're gonna snag up our gal pal here. Yes. Is there a what way to need? tab through? How do we make you our primary yes. person? What? There we go. Okay, we got it. 
All right, you're our primary person. I want you in the lead. We're going to search for hidden traps Bio lead. with our perception ability. And it doesn't look like there's anything else going on over here. I can here. do that. And we'll have to move what is it you loose, require? We'll have How to may move I slowly serve? to make sure we find of anything course. and everything that we must. At once. I suppose technically we could just use her to scout on our own. Good. And then in worst case scenario, something bad happens. Use the search ability. Uh, it can reveal hidden traps and treasures. Click on yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Let's go. And use her to scout ahead, Good. and our people will automatically Indeed. follow. I forgot of that course. was a thing. Good. Good. Indeed. All right, companions not directly under control will automatically follow and fight tactically as needed. Of course. So pretty good stuff. Now, if you're in stealth, they will not follow. All right, so we have found ourselves a trap. Now we're going to attempt to disarm it because we're heroes. Netty, the trap disarming rogue of awesomeness. Let's go. We need to continue on our little adventure here. Good. Let's Making go. sure that we actually good. scout out everything Indeed. that we possibly can, and we're, we're looking pretty Let's good at go. this point. Ooh. There's a jar healed up there. Sorry, guys. I had to sneeze. Like I said, it happens once. I always say that I don't live jar healed. Sad to see I was right. Creepy. Uh, every single time I go to record, there's always something that happens where I have to at least mute or do something. So uh, a random sneeze, not so bad. But it is what it is. All right. Uh, abilities, potion scrolls reside in the quick bar at the bottom of the screen. Hover your cursor over the ability to see details. Left click to activate. Or press the assigned key. Some abilities require left clicking on a target once. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right click, I think, cancels it. So, Let's go. simple and easy. Now, he said Good. traps. I'm assuming there's more Indeed. than one, but we're about to roll up on somebody. Some classes have cantrips available. Uh, the quick bar displays a weapon. Yeah, the default setting. All right. So, what are they talking here? I'll explain this one to you guys. Cantrips are apparently spells that are what? inherently known by people. And it allows you to actually attack with it. Divine Strike, this is a melee one, or if we wanted to, we could cycle it to this, which is a spell right here. Let me see. It's a uh, direct effect. Uh, basically, wreaths a chosen target in flame-like radiance. And if they don't do a dexterity saving roll, they'll actually take 2 to 8 damage. Additionally, we have this, Produce Flame. Which just does on hit two to eight. That seems like a little bit safer bet, so we'll probably roll out with that. What do you need? Now I'm gonna to try to be a little bit sneaky here. And we're gonna hide with our rogue. Of course. And I'm gonna see if I can't get it in Let's here go. and actually get something Good. done. I'm gonna turn off this as well. Indeed. Oh, we're probably gonna get seen here, which is not great. Let's go. Good. Indeed. Of course. Alright, so what we're gonna do is try to Let's sneak go. behind the knight Good. here, which we've done. And what I'm going to do service. as well is send them all into attack, swap back yes. over to Nettie. Let's go. Have her roll out, and now uh, she's going to do a backstab attack here from stealth. Get a pretty big chunk of damage done. Now what? Bellamy's running over. I think they're all going to start doing their yes. own fight now. I'm going to charge over here. I'm going to control my character for the most part. Oh, he's got the pool ability. That's pretty cool. Alright, I'm going to try to hold the line here against him. You will pay. And we're going to go here and we're going to... Oh, no! I selected the wrong individual. Alright, make good use of your party during a challenging battle. Pause and cycle through the party members to strategically battle, blah, blah, blah. We already know that. We've been sort of right doing away. that this whole time. Anyway, there's no loot to be had, which is okay. I can do that. I'm going to roll out over here. There does appear to be a chest, so we'll come over here and grab the chest up. A scroll of Thunder Wave and a scroll of Melf's Acid Arrow. We'll take that. Potions and scrolls are automatically added to the quick bar. We already know that as well. As you wish. Just from what we've seen in the... Well, maybe we didn't know that. Just from what we've seen in the first look video. I'm pretty sure I already knew that, guys. Oh, this guy's going to cast nasty spells on us. We should probably do something to stop him. Alright, well, we're running all over the place. What is it you require? Right away. I'm going to stop this guy right here. Alright, I'm going to actually throw a heal out on myself. Lay on hands! No! And bam, down he goes. Our cantrips are still going out. I'm still in control right here. We're going to roll out on these guys. Alright, we're going to go down to the knight who seems to be... I don't know who he's attacking. He's just attacking like a crazy thing. Meanwhile, our amazing priest is over there doing amazing priest-like things. It's looking pretty good, guys. Looking pretty good. Alright, looks like this whole area is cleared out. And we're going to come over here now. I can do that. And from here, As we're going to charge wish. forward like a crazy person. Of course. You know, because we're a righteous paladin always right charges away. forward. I can do that. Though that sounds a little less righteous. Oh, there's a, the giant pupil of Sauron. 
He's no longer a cat like, what course. the heck is this thing? At once. Right away. Other than incre incredibly and exceptionally disturbing. Oh, okay. I'm so totally ready for this. Why suffer an invasion when mortal fools march straight to me? You die now, demon! <laughs> such a large voice for such a small creature. Don't you see that we're on the same side? Okay, um, let's see. This is where it all ends. How are we on the same side? My guild will stop you. I'm curious. How are we on the same side, demon? So impatient. You will see. Play a role, mortal, and all will become clear. Are you telling stop me to roleplay? Stop the chatter and fight. Of course. You're obviously here to die. I shall not disappoint. But I, if you're gonna kill us, how exactly we're we on the same side then? I'm a little confused. I heard somebody saying something about scaring the horses. Oh, and okay, I don't know what that was, but cool. All right, the high road, the inland trade route known as the high road, connects Waterdeep in the south to Luskin in the north, passing through Neverwinter and Port Last along the way. On the trip up from Neverwinter, this portion of High Road veers away from the coast through a small set of craggy hills. Still about a day's ride to Luskin for more for most caravans. This area is an ideal resting place be before continuing on through more treacherous ah, terrain. Ah, you're finally awake. You were scaring the horses. Ah, indeed I was. You were thrashing around in your sleep. The trail boss thought you were possessed. Maybe. Alright, sorry about that. It was a rough night. I had a strange dream. The world was coming to an end. You too. Bellamy said he had the same dream I did. But I figured that damned halfling was just messing with me like he always does. He's not so bad. Why did we have to bring Bellamy along again? I never really got along with that hothead. Aye, he's not. He just rubs me up the wrong way. <laughs> Jokes around all light-hearted. But the minute you shoot back, he gets all cranky and ready to fight. But he's a damn good soldier and I'm glad to have him here. That nightmare I had makes me think we might be needing his blades in the coming days. Indeed it does. It sounds like we all had terrible nightmares. I'm sure that dream didn't mean anything. What did you dream about? I saw a hooded figure wreathed in flame, and a horrible demon reaching through the ground from below to tear the surface apart. It felt like the end, no mistake. And there was a voice calling me, saying it was me destiny to be there. It sounds like we all had terrible nightmares. All right. I have something to mention to Palan when we get to the guild house in Luskin. Maybe he'll give us a foul taste in purple concoction that bubbles loudly and doesn't do much else. Mm. Nightmares aside, we got work to do. Got to find that fool halfling and get this caravan packed up and ready to move to Luskin. All right. What do we have left to do? The merchants are breaking camp as we speak. Most wagons are tied up and ready to go. We got a few stragglers that might need a hand getting ready. Bellamy went up ahead to scout the road. Haven't heard from him in a little while. He was cranky with a headache when he left, so I'm guessing he picked a fight with one of the trail scouts up there. All right, I'll go and find him. All right. <laughs> Bellamy would pick a fight with a wall if he thought it was it was in his way. Good. I like it. He should be up the road a ways. Listen for the sound of that fool shouting curses at the sky. All right, indeed. And there we have it, folks. This is the perfect time to break off episode one. We got to see character creation, the opening, I guess, kind of the tutorial area. And now we are in the game proper and ready to get moving out in the next episode. Hopefully you had fun. If you did, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share it. If you want any more information about the game, the developer, or any of that stuff, it will be down below in the description of the video. And I will see you guys tomorrow with the next installment of Sword Coast Legends. Until then, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you for stopping by the Freak Show, and I will see you later. Thank you.